What are the places where digital assets are the best way of transferring wealth from one person to another? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll talk my own book a little bit here because Ripple is using digital assets to solve a cross-border payments problem. Uh, some people, I'm sure, listening have had this experience, and maybe some of us have had this experience. If you're sending money across oceans, uh, across networks, it ends up being really slow and really expensive. Uh, I make the joke, which in, in some ways isn't at all a joke, that if we decided we wanted to take $10,000 to London right now, the fastest way to do that would be to drive down to SFO down 101 and, and fly it there. This, despite the fact that we live in a world where you can stream video from the space station, it would take you know three to five days to wire money to London, and the cost would be not immaterial. Uh, you know, I, I was speaking with a gentleman at the World Bank not long ago, and you know, the average remittance cost outside the G20 is 600 basis points, and that the populations can least afford to pay those fees uh, are the ones burdening burdened with that. And th and that's six percent. Right. Yes, yes. Yes. 600 basis right. points is 6%. Okay. And and tell us a little bit on how you're solving that. So what we do is we sell technologies to banks that allow them to connect what we call RippleNet. And that allows them to do cross-border payments in real time, effectively real time, at very, very inexpensive uh, fees. So it, well, another important piece is it's transparent. I mean, one of the humorous, frustrating things that we may have experienced if you're sending a wire across border and you call your bank and Joe Bankman says, hey, I haven't, I haven't, Brad was sending me money. It hasn't arrived. Your bank doesn't know where it sits because the nature of how this works, it kind of hops through different hops. We had a, one of the largest banks in Australia, the CEO, told me that 40% of all of their consumer wire transfers result in a customer service phone call. And the reason is they wait a few days and they say, hey, Joe hasn't received the wire. Where is it? The frustrating thing for the bank is not only do they have to absorb the cost of taking a customer service phone call, they also deliver the news that they don't know. Wait a couple more days. It'll probably be there. That's a pretty bad experience. And that's that truly is our global financial ecosystem is built on the rails that I'm describing that were built 40 or 50 years ago and haven't advanced. Blockchain technologies can fundamentally re re-engineer and kind of rewire that, that base layer to dramatically accelerate and reduce the cost associated with these payments.